hanging the washing out to dry. And these days in Manila, there's a lot of washing up to do. Nora Cristobal expects it to take her a month just to get their clothes clean. And then there's the matter of clearing up everything else. We saw all these people being swept away. Then TVs, houses, chairs, tables, everything. The water reached all the way there. Reminders of the devastation are everywhere. 20,000 tons of it. Oh, but it's a big, big job. That could be 10 times more than uh, no, the usual. No? And uh, that's the ho domestic garbage. But as to the silt and the mountain debris, much, much more. City officials are doing all they can, but they could barely cope with the regular volume as it was. These city employees have been here for two weeks now trying to clear up the mess. There are some 200 of them working alongside over 100 volunteers, many of them local residents, but there are others who have come here from other areas just to help out. Now they're saying that even with all those extra hands, it could take at least two more months before the work here is done. The authorities have even begun recruiting evacuees to help in the cleanup for a small fee. They don't have to look too far. Everyone in the city was affected by Kitsana in one way or another. My house isn't clean yet, but this is work. My family is clearing up there. I'm needed here, and at least I get to bring home some money at the end of the day. However long it takes, people here will keep working until they remove all the remnants of what they call the epic flood. But these survivors also know that there are other reminders no amount of washing can clear away. I really hope this doesn't happen again. It was so frightening. It was so sad. It was so, I don't know. Like Nora and many others here, only when all the rubbish is gone can the time truly come to deal with the invisible scars that Quetzana left behind. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.